Lori, Democratic leadership acknowledges this is not going to be easy, especially during a short, as you mentioned, 60 day session. But the governor has begun a full court press trying to sell this plan to both lawmakers and the business community holding a key meeting this afternoon. We do not anticipate that every single you know, business in the state of Washington is going to rush to this. We understand that. But the people of the state of Washington who are seeing ash fall in the hood of their cars, who have seen British Columbia have a carbon price and have the most robust economy in Canada, and are now seeing uh, Puget Sound Energy and Avista both say this is a reasonable thing, that's very promising. The governor's new bill unveiled today proposes a $20 per ton tax on carbon emissions, which would then increase over time. His policy staffers acknowledge that, that could result in residential gas prices increasing around 10 percent and gas prices potentially rising 9 percent in future years by 2035. Now, projected revenue from this is estimated at $1.5 billion over the next two years, revenue that would then go towards investing in reducing carbon emissions and transitioning to more clean energy. But the proposal also includes exemption for aircraft fuels and certain businesses, particularly trade dependent ones. But Republican lawmakers are not getting on board with this. Party leaders, Republican party leaders calling this short on policy, heavy on taxes. You're looking at your heating and utility bills going up, your electricity bills going up. Um, you're looking at food prices going up, manufacturing prices going up. It has not hurt middle class people in British Columbia. It has not hurt middle class people in California. It has not hurt people in eight northeast states which have a price on carbon in eight American states. So the debate will continue. This bill expected to have a hearing next week. Republicans say they're working on their own proposal. And then to add another complication, there's expected to be a carbon tax related ballot initiative filed in the coming weeks. And that could potentially put added pressure on lawmakers here. We'll send it back to you.